Well, get ready for a breath of fresh air. After that brutal stretch of heat and humidity, it is about to feel, can we say it? Come fall on, fall. Lake. Yes, oh. yes. Bring out the pumpkin spice. Chief Meteorologist <laughs> Kate Milo with Wait, our next one. Wait, too soon. Too soon. Too pumpkins soon. out. I was going to say, too soon. Too <laughs> soon for pumpkin. Maybe, maybe ice pumpkin ice. a pot of chili pumpkin on the spice. stove sounds okay. good. Yeah, sounds good. Maybe. Yeah. yeah, it is going to have a little hint of fall in the air on Saturday morning, especially. That's when we're going to feel our coolest temperatures of this stretch. Some spots could even start Saturday in the 50s. It's been a long time since we've been able to say that. Certainly not this month of August. It has been a brutally hot month. Ten straight days in the 90s, but the winds of change are already starting to blow through. Here's a live look at Logan Square in Philadelphia. You can see the fountains kind of blowing in the breeze there. Breeze picking up from the north and west, and that's what's going to bring the changes. Right now it's a west wind at 10 miles per hour. The temperature is 82 degrees, and it is now mostly cloudy. Hopefully you got a chance to see that beautiful full moon before the clouds rolled in. This month so far, well, we added one more day to our 10-day stretch of heat. 90 degrees was the official high today. It was a little better. We've had two cold fronts already come through. The third one comes through overnight tonight. Last night in the middle of the night, I don't know if you were woken up in the city, but we got a pretty heavy thunderstorm that dumped over an inch and a half of rain at the Philadelphia airport. Not everybody got it, but certainly helps a little bit with the lack of rain we've been experiencing this month. But 10 days straight in the 90s, and it ends tomorrow. Here comes the cold front that's going to bring that much drier, cooler air. It doesn't have much with it. That's the one thing. It's been a long process stepping down these temperatures, but we haven't had that explosive, severe weather we sometimes see when you're ending a stretch of very hot, humid conditions. Some clouds. There are showers starting to creep toward Lancaster County, but watch that dew point drop. That muggy meter takes us from humid to not bad to by Saturday afternoon downright crisp. It is going to feel again like a little hint of fall in the air with virtually no humidity to speak of this weekend. Still warm enough for the pool, still warm enough to be down the shore, but it is going to feel just amazing outside. 84 degrees tomorrow, a beautiful day with a nice breeze, low humidity. You will start the morning with some clouds and then we'll start to see things improve throughout the course of the mid-morning to late morning hours. It's dry and beautiful through the weekend, but looking ahead, we do have some more rain chances next week. A coastal low is going to try and develop Monday night into Tuesday. That's going to throw some moisture back from the ocean. Looks like more of that much needed rain is on the docket, and that's going to keep us cool. In fact, every single day in the next weather seven day forecast is below average. Sunday gets close, but we've got this beautiful stretch Friday through the weekend. Well deserved weekend for us here, and then showers next week. Looks like the wettest days will be Monday and Tuesday. Yuki, we'll send it back to you. Okay, thank you so much. Sports